All right, let's talk about the extractor brush, and there's some pretty fundamental information we need to discuss about the functionality of the brush. So to illustrate it the best way I can, I'm going to do something a little bit weird, but just follow along with me. So I'm going to go to the tool menu, I'm going to double click this polysphere, hit comma key to go out of light box, hit control and clear my canvas if I need to. I uh, go into edit mode, we're going to go into geometry, I'm going to go down to subject level 1, I'm going to delete higher, and I'm going to keep hitting reconstruct until we have a very, very basic uh, kind of spheroid shape. I'm going to delete higher, and also I have a bunch of undo history, so of course you can, if you've watched the history re recall uh, brush videos before this, uh, you're going to see we have history slider and you can control mark things. I'm going to go up here to edit, I'm going to say delete undo history. So we just have a fresh object sitting here, no undo history, and now under geometry, I'm going to hit control D, or hitting hit this divide, and I can just keep hitting divide to get more and more detail. I'll go out of polyframe mode, and now I can go through here and I can start sculpting. So let's sculpt some detail on this object here. Uh, if you start sculpting, and you go up here to stroke, modifiers, you're going to see the replay last is one, and then replay last relative of shift one. So if you do shift one, the last stroke you made, you can actually go through here, and you can just add it underneath where your cursor is. So again, you can go through here and you can start just kind of detailing up uh, and it doesn't have to be in a straight line or anything, you just make whatever you'd like. And now since we're talking about the extractor brush, you're probably thinking, let's go ahead and extract this detail off. And you may have even seen YouTube videos on this. So if we go to B, X, T, it's going to grab our extractor brush. And just by its default, the extractor brush is just a brush. It's literally just a brush with some settings that make it more compatible with using extracted alphas to roll across your surface. In fact, if you want to skip ahead, stroll, uh, underneath stroke, you're going to have roll and then roll distance. These things are turned on, basically, along with a couple other uh, features. But uh, in order to have this work effectively, we need an alpha. And of course, you can load any alpha in here, and you can, you know, if you take this star alpha, you can actually roll that star alpha. Uh, but since the extractor brush, you want to extract detail with this. So how do we get this detail into this alpha so the extractor brush can roll it? Basically, if you go and uh, if you have this divider open on the left, just double click it. You can grab your alpha menu, just drag it over here to the left. And right here, you're going to see a from brush. If you hover over it, just like anything else in ZBrush, if it has a name and a hotkey, uh, you're going to see the hotkey for this is G. So you can hit G and you can use it to grab this, uh, this detail. Uh, now, my brush is pretty small. So as I go over this, you're going to see it doesn't, it's not quite wide enough to pick it up. So I'm going to tap S on my keyboard and just make my brush size big enough to kind of capture all of this. Of course, you can also go up here and change your draw size, but I like to be down here, so I can kind of tap S and then make it bigger and smaller and then just make sure that's big enough. Uh, again, extracting alphas is G, so hit G, and that's going to turn your cursor into a blue uh, circle. You can actually, you can still resize this even in this mode, but as soon as you touch uh, your object and you start pulling, you're going to see it's going to start grabbing, you're going to a flat line and it's going across your mesh, so just grab all this, and it'll give you an alpha. So you're like, great, now I've got an alpha, I've got an extractor brush, it's going to roll that alpha detail, everything's going to be great. Then you start using it, and you're like, what is going on? You can kind of see the alpha, but it's kind of doing something really weird. And that's because it is looking at your history in order to determine what alpha you want to pick up. And that's a feature, because you can have, like, if you had poor detail on a face, and then you put a scar across that poor detail, you can extract the poor detail separately from the scar, or vice versa. So basically, it's looking at this point in your history, which is this giant, uh, giant polygons and their uh, depth in space, and then it's extracting this alpha from that uh, mesh, and it's not doing a very good job. So what you want to do, if you just want to extract uh, this pebbly detail from the smooth surface, go back to where you had a smooth surface. There we go. Control tap this, and you're going to see it's going to turn white in that area of your undo history. And now we're going to go forward, not forward to where we did our last blobby test, but just here. And now you can do B, X, T. And again, it doesn't have to be in a straight line or anything. You can just kind of follow it. Hit G, click and drag across here, and then let go. And now you have this detail. So now you can go through here and you can use this to brush on detail. One quick addendum here, if you're like me and you don't want to think too hard about scrolling through history and you're like, I just see what I have on here, this is what I want to capture, I don't want to worry about anything else, just control tap that last latest point in your history and then when you hit G, whatever's on your object, it'll go ahead and capture. So if you just want to play it safe and play it simple and just capture what you see, control tap that very last point and it should work just fine.